Hello Minecrafters, I'm Madhon and today I'm going to show you Mad Commands, my plugin that lets you add your own custom commands to your Minecraft Pocket Edition server. Mad Command seems almost like it lets you create your own plugin without creating the plugin. Correct. This plugin lets you add functionality to your server without knowing PHP and even without having access to the server's file system. The plugin itself adds only one command to the server, but it lets you add as many new commands as you want. Mad commands let you use a simple programming language similar to BASIC to define what your custom commands will do. You can make command call any other valid command as part of its procedure. The commands you add are then registered as regular commands, just like if they were added by a plugin. In addition to adding new commands, you can also overwrite existing commands. So then, for instance, when someone uses a bang command, you can make it do what you want it to do, rather than what it usually does. It can be something as simple as telling the user this command is not allowed to be used, but also something more complex, such as allowing each user to use the command only once per day. Custom commands created with mad commands can interact with the players. In addition to sending chat messages, you can display a text tip in the bottom half of the player's screen. You can also display a two-line pop-up above the player's hotbar. You can display a big title and a small subtitle in the center of the player's screen. As you can probably imagine, this can be used in some very creative ways, such as to display your current coordinates, constantly updated as you move around the world. Mad commands becomes even more powerful when you combine it with other plugins, such as tap to do also known as user actions, which lets you trigger commands by tapping on blocks, almost like command blocks in the single player mode. That's actually one of the most crucial abilities when creating minigames. Another important ability for minigames is the ability to check certain information about players and make decisions in the minigame logic depending on that information. Therefore, mad commands let you check the player's position, game mode, health, but also armor and inventory. Of course, you wouldn't be able to create a serious minigame without being able to also control players. With mad commands you can easily change or reset their armor and inventory, so they start your minigame with the exact same initial conditions and chances. Just like you can obtain information about players, you can also examine every single block in the world. By supplying the level name and coordinates, you can check the block ID sitting there.
but that's not all. What if the block can contain items, such as a chest? You can get that with math commands as well. You can check what is in the chest or trap chest. You can check what item is inside an item frame and even how it is rotated. And you can also read what's written on a sign. And if you can examine the world blocks, why not let you change them as well? So that's exactly what your custom commands can do. You can easily set any world block to anything you want. If you place a sign somewhere, you can also write text on it. Now what else do you think you can do when you can examine and modify the world? You can, for instance, combine these two abilities and start cloning existing blocks. And truly, if you can clone a chest, I guess it would be handy to clone its contents as well, right? So let's do it. Cloning item frames can be done just as easily as cloning a chest. Of course, even rotation of the contained item is maintained in the clone. I already mentioned that math commands can read and write on signs, so you won't be surprised that you can also clone signs, including everything that's written on them. Now how about cloning double chests? What do you think? Can you do that? And do you really think I would ever mention it if it wasn't possible? So what do you think? Is it enough for you to start making your own minigames? Or do you want more? Well, I don't know about you, but for me it wouldn't be a proper minigame if it didn't have leaderboards. Or if it even forgot who's part of which team. And because making you able to create mini games was one of my primary motivations to create this plugin, it of course can remember information and retrieve it later when needed, such as the information who has already won the mini game. But that's not all. With math commands you can not only create new commands and procedures, 
You can also make them automatically run when certain things happen in the game, such as when a new player joins the server. It can be something as simple as automatically saying hello to everyone, like when my friend Nodem logs in here to my test server. But I'm sure you can think of much more practical uses. Some events can even be cancelled if your procedure requests that. So you can define your own logic that decides whether a particular action is supposed to succeed or whether you want to disallow it in the current situation. As you can see, here I have defined the procedure to be triggered when a player places a block and to cancel the event if the block being placed is a dirt. Of course, as this was made primarily for minigames, the events you can make to trigger your custom procedures include damage, death, eating, breaking blocks, placing blocks or even entering and leaving bed. As you can see, the list of things you can do with math commands is endless. And so also a list of things to learn is very long. To start somewhere, you can use the plugins built in help. As you can see here, it's huge. Every command, function or even trigger is documented there in high level of detail. You can also learn from my examples I have made for you. Just choose which one of them you would like to install, then install it and try to understand how it works. Do you still want some more? Okay, so let's open the can of worms. Mad commands let you also make the game talk to the outside world. So if there is still something you can do inside the game, there is no reason why you couldn't do it outside. No special challenge for you, genius. Can you make a mini game where you order a hot dog inside the game and get it delivered to your living room in real? Let me know when you have it done. Until then, happy mad commanding!